Hello, my beautiful Taurians. How are you? It is B, and welcome to Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising. Thank you so much for all the likes, the shares, and the subscribes. I really do appreciate it. And for those of you that wish to subscribe, please make sure you are clicking on that subscription button and uh, make sure that you are also selecting to be notified so you'll be immediately notified when I post my videos. All right, Taurus, what do we have coming up for you? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see. All right, let's pray over the deck. Okay, here is your general energy. Here is home life and family life. Here is love life. And here is uh, work as well as social life. Okay, what do we have going on with you for the general energies for, let me move this closer, maybe turn this up a little bit too. There we go, okay. What are the energies that you have coming up for the general energies of December 2023? Ooh, the hermit. So you might be dealing with a Virgo person. Um, you might be shedding light on a subject or looking into something further, I am hearing. This also means that there's a level of sequestration uh, to maybe find yourself, uh, figure out who you really are. When we go through transitions in our lives, we have a need to understand what we do, when we do it, and why we do it. So this could certainly uh, be coming up for you. This is also researching something, looking deeper into something. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? Can I tweak it? Can I possibly approach this from a different perspective? But Virgo energy is definitely coming through here. Now, Virgo energy also brings in the energy of um, daily duties, needing to run errands, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, being a good advisor, being of service to others, and physician energy. So health and well-being, you might be looking in to your health and your well-being as well, possibly going back to something from the past. Okay, so that is just your general energy overall. And let's see how that general energy is working with all the rest of these cards. Uh, what do we have going on for home and family? Ooh, the high priestess. Secrets happening in the home and in the family. Someone is not speaking up a lot. Um, you might be dealing with someone whose name begins with the letters B or J, middle name B or J, last name B or J. Uh, this is also psychic abilities within the home. So this could be, you know, you've got your own home business and it's a, it's a psychic business. It's very, very possible here. Maybe you're doing research into, into how, um, how you can get a bigger bang for your buck. How can, how you can, modify things because I'm getting modify things, how you can modify, how you can look deeper into a subject. Uh, you might be doing a lot of meditations in the month of December. You might be doing a lot of connections in the month of December as well. This is also a very magnetic energy. So perhaps you don't talk a lot in the home or you don't really, you're not maybe as social in the home or within the family. You're more quiet. You're very direct. You're very, like there's not a lot of verbose energy around you. It's very, I'm going to tell you what I mean, I'm going to and I'm going to say what I mean, and that's going to be it. It's going to be one sentence, and then I'm going to be done. So for some of you, you might be dealing with that type of energy at home. But it's also getting into the black and the white of a situation. 
as it relates to some sort of research or as it relates to some sort of um, sequestration. Some of you might be spending more time at home. And that is your choice. Maybe you don't want to be so social. Maybe you want to spend more time at home. Maybe you want to be left alone. Uh, this could be an Aquarius or a Pisces person as well. But it could also be um, you, the Taurus, because this is the two, and the two can be considered the second house. And then you also have the nine over here, and that can be considered September, so that could be Virgo, as well as Libra. But it can also be Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be those signs, but that's that's the energy that's coming through. What's going on with your love life? The Empress, wow, wow. Well, your love life is not having too much of an issue here. Um, you feel like the Empress, you feel like you're being taken care of, you feel like you can be the best Taurus you can be. And I think this is happening because your surroundings are supporting you with creature comforts, luxury, simplicity, calm, the ability to be productive but not overburdening. You can create. You feel like you're a great creator within your love relationship. Your mother may have something to do with your love relationship as well. Um, you could be a mother. but there is mother energy. You could just have great love for your mother, okay? Remember, this is love life, and we can love people outside of romance. So this is, you know, you really appreciating and telling your mother that you love her. Uh, some of you may be getting pregnant, Taurus, as well, or you might get somebody else pregnant, uh, but there is a mother energy associated with this a lot of abundance with love. You have great abundance with love and you are getting money, creature comforts, manifestations, calm, the ability to create. I love this for you. You might be even saying to yourself, Taurus, well, what am I gonna create next? What am I gonna create next? Let me research this. Let me look into this. How am I going to make this creation? Could be, you know, your business. How are you going to create with your business? How are you going to create with your home space? How are you going to create with your family? How are you going to create with your own love life? What are you going to do to change it up? This is what's coming through here. There might be an investigation into the mother, Taurus. Or the mother might be not telling you something. And that may have something to do with some sort of something she found, some sort of research, some sort of, you know, something that was hidden that has now been being revealed. It could have something to do with um, your mother's lineage. It could have something to do with uh, some other type of research that she may be doing. What's going on with social life and work life? The chariot. Yeah, movement, traveling for work, uh, traveling to see friends and family, the social life, uh, victory with the social life, victory with the work situation. This is Cancerian energy. This could also be needing to fly around for work. There could also be an energy here of needing to ask more questions. And if someone asks you a question, you may want to answer back with another question because that's what the sphinxes do. Transportation, cars, uh, any mode of transportation coming up here, foreign people, foreign lands. This... Um, Empress is a Taurus. 
is a Libra because Venus rules Taurus and Libra, but it could also be a Venus in Taurus, a Venus in Libra. This is a Pisces and Aries or a Gemini as well. This is a Cancerian energy, but it could also be a Libra energy or a Leo energy. But you have victory in, in social life and also in work life. And there's a, possibly a lot of travel coming up here as well. Beautiful. Someone may consider you their empress in a love relationship. You have this air of taking care of the home, taking care of the family, yet being very luxurious, comfortable, uh, not stressed. Who doesn't want that, right? Let's see what two cards we're going to clarify, Taurus. clarify this one. I'm going to clarify this one. So we have the Hermit and we have the Empress. Okay. So the Chariot and the High Priestess are going to be clarified. Let's see what we've got for the clarifications for the Chariot and the High Priestess within the home. priestess is here and this is why the chariot is here so why is there a feeling of quiet solitude uh, within the home and family or possibly keeping secrets or something having to do um, with someone by the name of name who starts with b or j middle name b or j last name b or j uh, an aquarius or a pisces why is this here taurus because of the eight of cups because of walking away from something that was no longer emotionally fulfilling, um, needing to walk away to find your ninth cup, to find your happiness. This could also be, Taurus, that someone didn't reveal something to you and because they didn't reveal it to you, you're now walking away from it and you had to walk away from it. This is where everything had to be set to rights. Everything had to be cleaned up and put in order before you leave, before you decided to go. Remember, your social life and your work life might be needing you to move or to go to another location um, for whatever reason. And so... You might be removing yourself from a social group. You might be removing yourself from a work-life dynamic. But you may also be traveling. But I think for some of you, you kind of felt like you were put in the middle of something. And you didn't have a choice but to walk away. So the reason the High Priestess is here is because you wanted to embark on your ninth cup. You were ready to move forward and get everything situated and move on to that next phase. But when that happened, there was a secret that was revealed. Maybe that you didn't know about or someone didn't tell you. And you're finding out that secret may have had to do with a mother figure or that secret may have had to do with uh, an empress, which is a very strong presence. They, they're, not, they're not flighty. They're, their energy kind of infiltrates or it gets absorbed by other people. It, it's 
their energy doesn't stay quiet for long. It, it, it pushes itself out because it's such a strong energy. Yeah, maybe you were asking questions of someone or you were trying to get to some sort of outcome or some sort of conclusion or in order to move forward. But then as you're doing that, you're finding out that there was some information kept from you for whatever reason. And now you kind of have to I don't want to say backtrack. It's not backtracking. It's, it's completely eliminating. It's walking away from, it is separating from, it is getting away from something. But honestly, it's for a good reason because this abundance and this manifestation energy is here. Why is the chariot here for work life and uh, social life? Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. So you might be moving um, for work in order to have more money, have more stability. You may need to, it's, it's because of this raise, this bonus, this money coming in, or it's stability, loyalty. It, you may also be showing someone loyalties uh, this could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo, but there's an energy here of, of great abundance, hard work, perseverance, loyalty, money coming in, support through money, energy, and time. And because that came in, you decided to move, you decided to go. You said, okay, it's time. I need to move, I need to go. Um, and again, like I said, there could be something here where someone told you that they had a loyalty to someone, but you didn't know about it. And because that loyalty is very, very strong, and it's possibly with an empress who has strong earth characteristics, okay, then it's time for you to go. Because someone else is, it's almost like someone else is taken, someone else is loyal or committed to someone else and you're like okay i'm i'm no longer going to pursue this i have to go i have to go and so because that energy is here you are leaving you are going possibly driving possibly flying anything like that taurus but that's what i see coming up here and for some of you it's like you just got a great a great deal on you know living someplace else maybe it's cheaper to live there maybe it, you're getting more money maybe you have more loyalty around friends and family there could be anything Taurus maybe you travel for money maybe you're a traveler maybe you travel a lot Taurus And you do that for work. You travel for work. Okay. Or someone around you does. Let's see what we got going on for your psychic downloads. Family. There it is. Family. So let's see what, and that just popped out. Let's see what your psychic downloads are with family, Taurus. You get three psychic downloads. Taurus, someone may be jealous of you in the family. Um, they may feel like they want to be part of a new beginning with you, but you're not really telling people a lot about it. You're kind of keeping it to yourself. And there's this feeling of kind of being a little bit jealous, maybe. Um, I'm just getting that for some of you. What is the next download?
yeah, of course, in December. I mean, a lot of you Tauruses are going to be traveling. Uh, you're planning on a surprise visit. So this could be a surprise visit to the mother. You're not telling them you're coming and you're going to be there, especially if you're like military, you haven't seen people in a while. It's like all of a sudden you're, you're either texting them the day before or you're just showing up on their doorstep. This is like a surprise um, meeting with you and the family or you and the brothers and sisters, you and the, and the friends, but you're planning on surprising someone or someone is planning on surprising you. Taurus, you are considered the quintessential mother. You are mothering everybody. Like you are taking care of them. You are cooking for them. You're cleaning for them. You're nurturing them. You're, you're supporting them. You're, you're giving them a mother-like energy. And I think Taurus is, I think you like this, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay. All right, Taurus, this is what I have for you for the month of December. I do wish you the best. Members, please make sure you go over to the website and you get the extended reading or the additional reading, I should say. The additional reading is going to be all new cards and we're going to be uh, seeing what else is in store for you. All right. I wish all of you the best. Much light, much love, many blessings and catch you on the flip side.